Hello Libra and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your last half of September 2024 tarot reading for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So welcome Libra. Let's see what we have for you for the last half of September. We have Walk Away. You're wasting your precious energy on something that will not bear fruit. It's time to turn your attention to things more aligned to your soul's purpose. I mean, free will. Could well be that that's the issue on whether to walk away or not. We have grounding. You're being asked to ground yourself. You've been spending too much time in your head and it's time to pay attention to your body and the earth. Go outside, plant your feet on the ground and enjoy the centering feeling this brings. All right, Libra, let's pull you a little angel message for the last half of September. What do we have for our lovely Librans? Little angel message. Thank you. Positivity. When you are positive, you keep directing a stream of high vibration energy with your thoughts, words and actions. This affects others and they will help you towards your purpose. The angels are aware of the power of your positivity and they too will support your intentions. You choose your thoughts and attitudes. So focus on loving, abundant and successful outcomes in every area of your life. Your positivity will make you feel happy, healthy and fulfilled. Your affirmation for the last half, I am positive and strong, is what I have for you. Let's pull some cards, see what we have for you. What do we have for our lovely Librans, Angel Spirits Guides for the last half of September? Happy birthday to all those Librans. Who have they, their birthdays end of September, moving into Libra season. What do we have for Libra? We have the Four of Cups. The Three of Swords. The King of Swords can be Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, male or female, or the energy of the card. We can all manifest as court cards in general readings. This is somebody who is decisive, good on communication, fair, clear thinking, truthful as well. We have the Ten of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune, divine timing and orchestration is at play. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, male or female, or the energy of the card. The Knight of Swords, bottom of the deck, the Chariot. So let's pull a card for the Four of Cups. What do we have for Libra? Angel Spirits Guides, message for Libra. Queen of Cups is connected to heart energy, so this could be clarity on matters to do with the heart, heart and mind energy, as energies as well. It can be a person that you're dealing with, male or female, somebody who is connected to their emotions and feelings. What do we have for Libra? What do we have for Libra? Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female, or the energy of the card. I mean, really, these queens could be the same. Could be your energy in terms of how you take action. I want to pull a card for the Wheel of Fortune. 
divine timing, orchestration, good luck, good fortune. We have the death card. You know, you could be dealing with uh, an ending of some kind. The death card is a sense of out with the old, in with the new. Significant transformation and change. Or this could be about an ending. This would be that kind of crunch time energy, certainly in terms of relationship. Uh, do we break up? Or do we, do, do we give ourselves a chance to turn something around? Let's pull a card for the Three of Swords. Heartbreak, painful truths, breakups, third party situations, emotional pain. But we always learn something from this kind of energy as well. And I think that you're getting clarity in terms of what that's teaching you or what you're learning from this experience. Three of Swords. The Three of Pentacles reversed. Something's not working. It's not cohesive. Uh, you don't feel like you're on the same page. It's that kind of energy of you feel like you're going in separate directions in some way and there is an ending at play. I think that you're at that point where you're deciding whether to end something or not. It's interesting because there's still heart-centered energy here. Let's pull a card for the chariot. The magician, oh my goodness, yeah. I mean, there's a strong sense of, of being able to manifest something here. What happens next is, it looks like it's going to be up to you. The queen of, of wands, again, this could be the same queen, but it can also be somebody advising you even. The four of cups is someone reaching out, offering you something you don't know whether to say yes or no. So whether that's, sometimes it can be advice, sometimes it can be an offer or invitation. It can also be that if you're thinking and reflecting about how to move forward and say yes or no to what you're being offered, it's to do with this situation as well. Could well be to do with you and another person because you don't feel like it's working for you. You don't feel like you're on the same page. You don't feel like you're moving in the same direction. You're feeling like you're on different planes almost. And that's where a breakup is brought into question. Do we end this or do we do we give it another go? Now, this could also be someone coming back into your life as well. If something ended in the past, because the same energy would apply, it would be that sense of an opportunity to say out with the old in with the new. I know that we we weren't working together, but I'm going to do the right thing this time. I'm going to make sure that we're, we're moving in the right direction. This will be the same energy. So it could well, when we talk about Ten of Cups, the Ten of Cups is generally long-term committed relationships, marriage, happy home, happy family. It takes a long time to build the Ten of Cups energy. It's when everything falls into place and comes together and feels positive and uplifted, happy home, happy family, happy relationship. Uh, but it, it's not necessarily, it looks a dreamy kind of card, which it can be, but it takes work and effort. Um, we, our actions, spirit will help bring, you know, happiness and fulfillment to our life. But it's also to do with the actions that we put into achieving that as well. So it's, a, it's all, always working with spirit in tandem. And that's exactly what the magician does too. This is, I feel that there is a relationship central to this in terms of when you, whether you can build back up. 
You know, it might well be also um, some maybe significant change or loss in the wider family has an opportunity to bring you together. If it's to do with you and the relationship and its wider family, the same energy would apply. Something, some significant change may give you an opportunity to turn something around here where there might have been some fallout, breakup, not talking to people for a period of time. It looks like there's an opportunity here, a conversation, communication, to have that rainbow shining again. Everything coming together and falling into place for you and everybody involved. It looks like you decide here in terms of whether you can overcome the difficulties and challenges between you. There could be some also important travel happening for you as well. It might also be that this could have been a distance relationship too. And it's about how you bring a solution to what has been the issue here. Again, that feeling of you're not feeling on the same page. You're not feeling uh, a cohesive team. It's not working for you. You feel like you're leading separate lives. It's the same kind of energy and it's how you bring that back. And that's what's being offered to you here. You don't know whether to walk away from it all or, or confirm that something has ended finally or you have an opportunity to, again, wipe the slate clean and start over should it be with someone returning into your life. For others of you, this is an existing relationship and it's about how you bring deep transformation and rebirth to something here and see if you can get back in the same lane is what I want to say to you. Overcome the difficulties and challenges between you and turn something negative to positive ideas into reality based metal to gold. The magician is telling you is whatever you set your intention is possible to achieve, but you have to take action and be true to yourself in what you want to manifest and what you don't. The chariot is always victory, triumph, success. Yes, it does take willpower and determination. And that's my, that's if everybody is determined, if everybody is willing to, to put the effort in, then there is a significant chance here that issues can be overcome and that rainbow can shine once more. It's like the rainbow after the rain kind of energy that is available to you, but it depends on whether you want to accept what you're being offered or not. Sometimes we have to think about it, how we're going to take action with that Queen of Wands energy and trust our instincts as well. But make sure you really think carefully because remember the Five of Cups is after this and we don't want to make decisions in haste that we later regret. Okay, what do we have for Libra? Final message for Libra. You know, you've got the Magician and then we've got Magical Blessings. Whatever you're going through, you're being assisted by magical fairy blessings. The fairies say you can bless others too. Libra, that's what I have for you for the last half of September 2024. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful last half as always and I'll see you next time.